hello friends welcome back today we would be learning a very simple but an extremely important topic that is how to debug selenium scripts on the intellij editor the intellij editor has got very much popular these days but for people who are using the intellij editor for the first time they may find it a bit difficult to know what are the shortcuts to debug the code in this tutorial we would be learning how to debug the selenium scripts on the intellij editor so without wasting any time let's start doing that so here you can see this is a small example which i have written to demonstrate how to do debugging so here it has few methods like this is the main method the execution will begin from here here I have written another method that is open website this will actually launch the URL then there is another method open link like it will be clicking some link and finally there is one method which would be verifying the title of the page and if you would see all these methods are getting called from the main method the first step of debugging is to accurately place the breakpoints so to place the breakpoint what you have to do is if you see on this editor on the left hand side of the code there are some numbers like these number represents the line of the code so what you have to do you have if you have to place the breakpoint just go to the line number where you have to place the breakpoint and with the help of your mouse just do a left click when you do that this red ball would appear over here which means the execution will halt over here this is the breakpoint so now let's execute this class and see whether the code halts at the right point which is the line number 18 so to execute this class what you have to do is right click and this time select the option debug main remember if you would select run main then the breakpoints would get skipped and the code would not halt over there so select the option debug main like this within few seconds the execution will begin and now if you would see the code is at this position line number 18 and it has halted over there now if you would wish to move to the next line you could either use the function key f7 or f8 i'll let you know what is the difference between these two but for now i am pressing the function key f7 now when i did that if you would see the marker the blue marker moved to the next executable line which was the line number 20 another important thing to observe is that when this code halted at the breakpoint if you see below this debugger window got opened now this debugger window is very important i will explain you the importance of this debugger window but first let us understand the function keys which are actually used for debugging the function keys f7 f8 and f9 are most frequently used for debugging of scripts on the intellij editor let's start with function key f7 f7 key is used for step by step execution like when you would be using the f7 key each and every line of the code would get executed and you would be able to see the cursor moving on each and every of these lines i'll show you how my debugging session is on now if i press the f7 key currently it is at line 20 let's see what happens now it has moved to the line 21 this line 21 is very interesting here you see it is calling something called firefox driver now at this point if i press f7 let's see what happens now if you would see it has moved to another class this class is actually performing the operation of launching the firefox browser but we went into that class because we used the function key f7 f7 is used to step into the function there would be scenarios where you would need to actually move into the function to debug the function 
and there would be scenarios where you need not move into the function now for example in this line number 21 which is calling the function to actually launch the browser now this has been taken care by the people who have actually written the classes for launching the Firefox browser through selenium so we need not actually move into that function to debug it we would be rather interested into moving into the functions which we have written when we would be debugging so remember if you would use the function key f7 when the line would be calling some other function the cursor will actually move into that function rather than skipping it so in situations where we need not move into the function we should not use the function key f7 when the function is getting called so what i'll do i'll just quit this execution i stopped the execution by clicking this red square on the top now what i'll do is once again do the debugging so i select debug main remember main is the name of the class over here we have to debug this class so we are selecting the option of debug main when I do that, my cursor has reached line number 18. Now this time what I'll do is, now I'm pressing the function key F8, not the function key F7. When I do that, see, similar to F7, now it has moved to line number 20. Once again, I press F8, it has moved to line number 22, sorry, 21. Now is the interesting scenario. At this point, if I press the function key F8, Eight. let's see what happens now if you observe it has actually launched the Firefox browser over here the line got executed that was line number 21 this got executed the browser has been launched and now the cursor is at line number 23 which is a call to another function open website so if you would compare F7 and F8, the difference is when we used F7, it actually moved into the function which was doing the task of launching the Firefox browser. It was moving into each and every line of that function. But when we used the function key F8, it did the same task like it opened the browser, but the cursor did not went into the function call. So it skipped the function and now the cursor moved to the next line which is of opening the website now again here we have two options here i could use the function key f7 and or the function key f8 now if i use f7 at this point i'm sure you would know that it would actually move into this function which is open website so this is the function over here now i am pressing function key f7 and if you would see it has actually gone into this function if i would have pressed f8 then it would have not gone over here to line number 33 instead it would this line of code would have got executed but the cursor would not have come over here it would have come to the line number 24 so now at this point line number 33 if i would press f7 it would go to the code which has the definition of this get function so i do not want to do that so what i'll do i'll press function key f8 and let's see what happens so when i press the function key f8 if you would see the url of the page has opened and if you see the cursor has moved to the end of this function so if you observed it did not go into the code of this get function instead it executed whatever get function needs to do it did that it opened the web page but we were not able to see the code because we pressed f8 not f7 so this is the difference between the function keys f7 and f8 to understand the differences what i'll do is i'll stop the execution here and i will place few more breakpoints so that it would be easier 
to visualize it so I'm keeping random the breakpoints at any random positions just you have to do the left click on the line number where you want the execution to be halted so let's debug this right click debug and now debugging has started the execution is at line number 18 at this point I could press either F7 or F8 because it is not a function call if I do an F7 it directly move to line number 20 and if you would see on the console below this console where I am clicking you could see test initiated it has come over here that was the result of line number 18 line number 20 again it is up to us we could use f7 or f8 there won't be any difference it moved to line number 21 now here it is important if you want to actually see the code then press f7 else if you just want the code to be executed press f8 i suggest that press f8 over here when i do that the firefox browser gets launched and if you see the editor it has it has moved to line number 23 now here at this point if I press F7 it goes into the function it is here in the function now if I press F8 it will not go into the code of the get function instead it would directly navigate to the URL which we have mentioned so if you see it has gone to the URL on the editor it is on the last line of this function we did not see the code of the get function over here because we pressed f8 once again if i do f8 here now it is at the next line that which is line number 24 at line number 24 now if i would press the f7 button over here it will move into the verify title function so your cursor would come over here if you would see your small code snippet has been written which verifies the title of the page so if I would press F7 it would come into this function and you would be able to see the step-by-step -step execution over here if I would press F8 then it would come to line number 26 which is another function but I did not explain you what will happen if I would press F9 over here yeah F9 is also very important when we are debugging because it helps you to move to the next available breakpoint so let's press F9 I pressed F9 now what you would observe is it has performed the operations like the script had a function called open link when this function was called it did nothing just it clicked on a link which in turn opened this page which you are seeing but what you observed is like the code did not stop anywhere it directly stopped at line number 27 which is highlighted in blue because we use the function key f9 so if you have multiple breakpoints and you do not want to stop like once you stop you did your analysis and now you want to move to your next breakpoint you should not use f7 and f8 in fact you directly use f9 and your execution will halt at that appropriate line in this case now it is at line number 27 which is nothing but verification of title so this was about the function keys f7 f8 and f9 and how to use them now earlier i mentioned about the debugger window here you have the de debugger window at the bottom which gets opened whenever you place the breakpoint now i'll show you how to use this debugger window now you are at this line 27 and you want to analyze this function verify title it takes one parameter like we are passing what is the expected title and we would be verifying whether this expected title matches with the actual title so what I'll do is at this point I have to go in the function to analyze it so I'll use the function key f7 now I am in this function here I have this variable act title which is the actual title which will get populated once the line number 44 will get executed so you could use either f7 or f8 and now if you would see 
the actual title at this point is Facebook you could see it in the debugger window under the variable section so this is very important feature of this IntelliJ editor because it shows you what are the values of the variables which we are using so once you are in the code and you are analyzing you come to know that this variable value is correct or incorrect and if it is incorrect you could correct it so at this point the value of actual title is Facebook but the expected title which we sent as a parameter is showing as Facebook login or sign up so at this point if I press F7 or F8 now it is checking for whether it is equal it is not equal because the expected and actual do not match and it is failing and if you would carefully observe once you are traversing all these lines 44 45 46 all the variable values are actually available in this light gray color on the right hand side like act title is facebook expected title is facebook login or sign up so everything is available so when you are debugging you would be easily able to watch the variable values it, this window is kind of a watch window we have it in other editors here you would be able to see what are the different values of the variables which are getting updated so by debugging it we found that the expected title which we have sent is incorrect so I have to change that I would stop the execution and here I will update the expected title mind you it could be that the expected is correct and the actual is wrong that will depend on your functionality and the requirement but now here I am assuming the expected is incorrect so you have to make the changes at the appropriate variable in my case I am assuming the expected title which I sent was incorrect so I am changing it I updated this and now this script should pass so what I'll do is I'll remove all these breakpoints I just left click on the breakpoint so it gets removed and now when the execution uh, when I will debug it will directly stop at line number 27 and once we uh, once again we'll do the analysis so for execution right click debug the execution should start within few seconds you can see the browser has been launched now it will navigate to the website which it has done now it would click on this create a page link which it has done now it is on this page and now it has reached to the point where we are actually verifying the title so we made the change in the expected value now let's analyze it by debugging it so I, I press F7 so we move into the function so here we have the variable value for actual title so here I'll press F8 so you could see the expected title and the actual title now are Facebook so I'll move forward once again I'll press F8 and this time if you would see it has passed because both the values are same so this is how we debug the selenium scripts on the IntelliJ editor it is pretty simple we have to just use the three function keys F7, F8 and F9 and then we are good to go I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you like my tutorials I request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading friends thanks for joining I would see you in my next tutorial goodbye